So as soon as you open the inventory, it created all 24 of these inventory slots. So this here, is it valid? It's not valid. Okay, we're creating the shop menu now and it's going to set this variable as the shop menu and then we're gonna add it to our viewport for the first time. So that would be like what this is, right? So if you don't have that validate get and you just create the widget every single time, you're gonna close this and then you're going to basically remove it from parent, but that widget cannot be deleted, right? So you can't, like widgets don't get deleted until you basically change levels and then have them basically reel it and initialize and stuff. That widget exists forever. So if you didn't have that and you just created another widget, well, now you've just created another 24 inventory widgets on top of like the actual inventory menu and then this guy here, right? So you've created a second copy of all of this and then we've closed it and then we do some more stuff and then we open, now we've created a third copy. Those are all in memory, right? So it's just kind of junk hanging out in memory that you don't need. So that's why it's really important to, once you create the widget, uh, to basically store a variable of it and then just add it and remove it from viewport as you need it. And then inside your widgets, obviously you're gonna want to make sure that when you open the inventory or whatever it is again, that you're pulling fresh data from the HUD class, from your player, whatever the case is, uh, and then populating that data that way.